that's what it looks like after I've removed all the torn branches and I will now let it grow for the next year or two and uh, review it at that stage as to what to do next with it. Uh, I'm quite happy with it at this stage and uh, the little trunk on the right I will have to see at a later stage what to do with it and uh, this could be a very good bonsai. I have never worked with collected material before and this is the first. The other thing which I learned was that with collected material cut it as far back as possible and then let it grow. This morning I was uh, trying to tidy up this lunisera and remove the wires I had put in previously and uh, as I was moving the pot, it's a cheap plastic pot, probably very brittle and it just broke. So I now have to find a suitable pot to um, replace it in this winter and uh, I can't leave this uh, free in this state. Let's give it a quick turn. It has makings of a bonsai, uh, it's a little bit early, it's collected material and uh, I would have preferred to have kept it in this pot for a while but uh, sometimes plans not work out and it will have to be replanted today. I have managed to Get most of the soil off the roots and this is how I have progressed thus far. I will be using a powerful sort of water jet to uh, remove the rest of the soil and I have sprayed it with water to uh, stop the roots drying out and uh, will continue shortly. The roots have been washed and uh, the tree is bare rooted removed all the soil which was not bonsai soil and this is what it looks like. I will shortly start repotting. I'm going to tidy up the roots slightly and also from the bottom here there's a bit of a knob which is sticking out to try and make it stand flat in the pot. This is the pot I've chosen. It's an unglazed uh, rectangular pot and uh, it has been recycled. I had another tree in it previously so I've cleaned it all up and uh, the tree is ready to go in. The tree is in the, in the pot and I've secured it with uh, wires and uh, I now have to continue putting more soil in. It's getting dark and I may not be able to continue filming so we will catch up shortly. This is the other side of the tree and uh, there's still a fair amount to do. It is now seven months since the repot and I've let it grow. I've uh, removed the wires uh, in between and uh, this is what it looks like. There's a lot of growth in places where I don't want it so I will tidy it up a little bit and remove the unwanted growth so that the energy can go uh, where it's needed. I'm removing the branches which are very very close to the uh, trunk and uh, the uh, primary branches that just makes the tree look bushy and uh, detracts from the no, this is too close to the it's coming out from the bottom of the existing branch so that shouldn't be there uh, that can be shortened a little to what there these can be 
shortened at the top to start forming so um, improving ramification at the top and the side branch I will leave slightly longer that's there and these growth at the bottom has to come off Here at the back again, a lot of growth, back budding where the old big branches are. So we'll remove all that. And this one is very low, so this will come off as well. These that I'm going to leave for now and see what happens as this grows right down here that needs to come off and uh, I'll leave some of these as uh, I may retain one branch out of uh, what's happening here right that's decision made so it will retain one of these we wire down like so as a rim just uh, reduce the growth on this side but to thicken up this branch I'll leave this and we'll shorten it uh, another time but in the meantime just clean up all this growth which is at the right at the point where the these primary branches that I want to grow this is a branch that I want, I want to develop and all the other new stuff has to come off I've just discovered in between filming I was tidying up and uh, this branch is uh, partially broken and there is a way to deal with it and that is to use um, a bit of super glue which I have here and uh, it should do the trick I've finished working on the top and now I'm going to clean up the pot I've done most of it it's just this side that remains so I'll just quickly tidy this up remove some of the weeds and uh, debris and uh, I will also be wiring up uh, three of th uh, a few branches I think it's about three branches at the back to uh, get them into position it's easier to do it now while they're still quite young and thin as opposed to leave them and they get thicker then it takes longer for them to um, stay in their new position so uh, so a lot of leaves have fallen down as I was um, tidying up the top the leaves are quite small and that, that's what makes it into a good bonsai having small leaves it helps if the tree naturally has a has small leaves when we start I know what some of you are thinking when I refer to we is not the royal we is we the uh, people involved in bonsai okay nearly there I am now going to wire the branches at the back there's about four of them three of them are already wired the fourth one I'm going to do now make an anchor like this 
trying to avoid going over the new small side branches and uh, new foliage okay that's the first one this one was I wired before turning the camera on it's ready and uh, there's a third one which I need to finish off there it is take it to the side like so and that's the fourth one I'm going to leave these uh, branches as long for a short while uh, let the um, branches thicken up before reducing them in size having done that the downward growth can now come off all right there we are folks uh, I'm done for today these are the branches that are wired up these four branches as one two three and four and uh, I want them to grow in this position and build up pads here at the, to give it the tree a bit more depth and uh, this is the front still a long way to go but um, it's looking so f much better than when I first started with it and uh, for now this is it to um, watch more progression on this tree please subscribe I will be doing further update